back to Rockin' with the Robins. Of course, today we are doing our special on our puppy. So we, of course, had to go shopping to my husband's dismay. But love you, babe. Um, he will not be joining us for this video as he is out doing stuff. So we wanted to give you guys a puppy haul real quick um, and also not show him some of the things they may not know I got, but I did get. But anywho, I don't want him tabulating in his mind. So today we're going to do a puppy haul. It's all about our puppy Zuri, which you guys have met by now. Um, check out her Instagram below, all right? Uh, you can see all the cute pictures, kind of the daily shenanigans. Um, you only get to be a puppy once, kind of like a baby. Um, so why not have a separate page for her to show her love and not drive you guys crazy with all of her puppy pictures. So today I want to focus on all the puppy essentials and not so essential, but needed slash wanted items that we got for Zuri. So we will start with the essential items first and I will let you guys check it out in no particular order but still all in the essential category and then I'll go into some of the items that I just got because they were cute or nice to have not something you absolutely need for your brand new puppy so here we go here we have her crate mat so this is a mat that you use to put inside of her crate so she doesn't get like uncomfortable of sleeping on a hard kind of plastic surface um, I found this that she likes it now don't get it twisted she does chew this um so i don't always have it in there like when she's super alert and like awake and i put her in the crate we not putting this in here we just put her on the regular old mat that you slide in and out in case she has an accident um, but when she's sleepy and kind of cuddly and about to go right on down we leave this in here for her to sleep on so she's not sleeping on anything hard i mean i know dogs sleep on floors dogs sleep anywhere for the most part some dogs sleep outside um, she's an inside dog so um, but I don't want her to be too you know bougie in case we ever do need her to sleep you know on the ground but around here she's gonna have at least a pillow cushion blanket something um, so this is her crate um, luckily she has not peed on this so that's good um, but it does um, have the ability I mean this doesn't have a zip off thing I was actually checking because I couldn't remember um, her her bed does which I'll show you guys next but um, this doesn't have the zip off thing so that's kind of inconvenient but actually one of the convenient things about this is that the uh, straps here so for us Zuri is going to be a she's technically I think considered a medium-sized dog but to the average person she is a large dog um, right now she's a puppy um, but she's the size of a like a full-grown medium-sized dog right now so um this actually slides over the bottom of that crate mat that's in there already in your crate for your dog but because zuri is going to grow with her crate um we got the smaller one and i'll just get her another one of these when she's actually full grown um, but this is just for the divided section of her crate that you guys have not um, seen yet so actually what i'll do is i'm going to insert the clip of her crate below it's already set up um actually carrie set it up for her a couple weeks before she got here um, we put it in our room and for now that's where it is i don't think she'll be sleeping in our room forever um, she may get a bed in the hallway or something like that but for now her crate is in our room so she just won't have bad like oh my gosh i just met y'all and you left us or you left me um so we'll go from there to her dog bed i kind of mentioned that for you guys um earlier so i want to go ahead and give you that so her dog bed is a little bit closer to the size she'll actually be so i'm sure this bed will take up the entire frame uh, but it is what it is so here is her dog pillow okay i see me so this is her dog pillow <laughs> so her dog pillow um some people actually have like a bed all dolled up and i do plan slash intend to get her one in the future when she's old enough and mature enough to handle it but for now this will do um this bed is huge Okay. You guys can see like how big it is. Um, slash, it also fits the decor in our house. But one of the smartest things I did uh, when I went to, I think we got this from PetSmart. Uh, this was a PetSmart buy. It was on clearance, number one. Um, so that's why I wanted it. Um, number two, um, there were two of them. So I got two of these uh, beds for her. 
Uh, so one is downstairs where she spends the majority of her time, but one is also upstairs. I do try to let her explore just a little bit just to tire her out before she goes in the crate. Um, don't let her explore too much because obviously, once again, she's a puppy. Um, so I do let her explore a little bit in the room, sniff some things. Um, but when I'm trying to get her to like calm down and transition her back to her crate for the night, um, I put her on this pillow, give her a toy and kind of sit down there on the ground with her. She is not allowed in our bed. She will not be allowed in our bed. She has not sat in our bed. It won't be happening. Um, so uh, I like to give her this so she has something of her own um, and something special somewhere to go in our room where she doesn't feel like, oh, well, it's the crate. Like, it, it, this is a separate area from her crate. So actually, I put this at the foot of our bed and we actually may keep this if she doesn't tear it up um, because she's a puppy. So I anticipate it may get a couple chew marks, but actually this has been pretty durable because believe it or not, <laughs> she has chewed these zippers they comfort her teeth she has chewed these zippers a lot and i do not see any tears i mean the one upstairs and the one downstairs so i, I don't know this might be a miracle pillow i need to find out who this is but um she has not ripped a hole in it yet but this was the one that i was saying it does have the zipper so if she does ever make a mess on it slash um slash if i ever can keep the outside but not the inside i could wash um the outside in the washer and zip it back up and put it back out so that's really nice to have um that it does have the zipper but like i said this has been holding up really well so i'm actually super happy with this but let's talk about peeing in the house <laughs> Now we all know we don't want our dogs to pee in the house. We have a brand new house, as you guys know from our home series. Um, so it's been kind of an up and down battle when we first were thinking about getting a dog of whether or not this is the right move for us because we have a brand new home. We don't want a dog messing it up. But you know what? The love is there. We love animals, particularly dogs. So why not? Um, so pee pads. I have a big batch of pee pads down here. So, pee pads. So these kind came from PetSmart. Um, originally, actually, I got a lot of her stuff on Amazon, and you'll see a lot of those items later. But um, I did go to PetSmart um, in my little PetSmart haul. I did get these because the first week she was here, you learn things. Um, I had gotten some activated charcoal pee pads from Amazon. I'm all about natural stuff. Activated charcoal sounded great. It would absorb things, blah, blah, blah. Um, that's how it was advertised. And I'm not going to say they weren't good. Um, but they did not have the adhesive tab on the back. And I thought that they did um, when I ordered them, but they didn't. So these have the adhesive tabs on the back. Um, and you're able to kind of tape them to your floor wherever you're securing it to. Because obviously, she's going to chew it. <laughs> um, so this has been a little bit of a saver. But in reality, we have not used these much. I honestly don't even put these on the ground. Um, typically when she's in her playpen, which I will show you guys later, she is, um, on her bed, the, the bed you guys just saw. So that's where she is. And I just make sure to take her out frequently enough to make sure that she doesn't have any accidents. Not going to say it's not going to happen eventually, but, um, I mean, in the time that she's been here, we've only had two to three accidents and they've all been actually, as we were either going to take her to the door, she was kind of going to the door and just didn't make it. Um, so now I just pick her up because she's less likely to pee on me or the floor if I'm holding her. Um, so when it's time for her to go out, I just pick her up, uh, which that won't last long because she's already super heavy. And I'm like, girl, um, I'm going to need you to earn your keep and walk yourself. But she doesn't have the concept of a leash quite yet. So that's kind of been the reason why I have to pick her up and carry her. But if you're a puppy pee pad kind of person, go for it. Um, these were on sale as well. They have more expensive brands like the one I picked before, <laughs> um, that uh, just get the regular old, and these are the blue ones, so. I know everybody recognizes the blue pee pads. Like something about them just feels like a classic, right? Yeah, it's a classic. Um, she has not made any real accidents in the house. She has really let us know, which is a new thing that started like two days ago. She lets us know that she has to go. And we're not certain if she knows yet or if she's just kind of playing with the idea, but she does, she has not been barking up until now. But the last two nights she has barked um, and not howled, but like barked and like whined a little bit. And we were like, maybe she just wants to get out um, of her playpen. But then we were like, no, like I think she has to go. Um, and sure, sure enough, every time she does that, we take her, pick her up and take her immediately outside. Cause we're like, no, this is not playtime. This is, you do this and you go outside. So if you don't want to go outside, then don't cry. Um, and if you stop crying at some point, we will pick you up. 
because um, I'm trying to make sure I don't develop any bad habits with her and picking her up when she's crying. Um, so she's crying, which literally has been like so minimum. Um, it's, I mean, maybe tops two minutes. That's tops. She will just whimper a little bit and go to sleep or whimper a little bit and play with her toy, which has been a godsend. Like she is the best puppy. We, we truly thought um, it would be so crazy um, to have a puppy. So it, she's been really good. I mean, she has her stubborn ways a little bit. Um, and I think that's just kind of particular to the breed in some ways, because they kind of know their own mind and they're really smart dogs. Um, but with good training, which we will talk a little bit more about that in another video, she'll be just fine. They want to chew everything in their path, which is why you have to keep a good eye on her, which is why I'm so happy I got the playpen. Um, but with her wanting to chew everything, you really have to make sure you find some good toys that one, she won't disrupt them in less than a few days and two that she likes. So I'm going to show you the toys we got for her. So these are a few of the toys we got her. So we'll start with this one. She really likes this toy. She gets disinterested after a little bit of time, um, but she loves this for her teeth. Every time she gets this, she's like gnawing. You can hear her like working through those gums and working through those teeth and like it makes you know little sounds so when she makes that sound i know she's chewing on the right thing um because we are definitely using the redirect method we are not trying to hit her or anything as we want to um train her um in obedience but also in protection probably later on in her adulthood so don't really want to be hitting her um, so we use redirection so if she's doing something she shouldn't give her a little tug on her no-no chain as i like to call it and then um, we give her whatever toy, which this one usually is the one that's close by. I mean, it really distracts her because I think it's so big. So she's like, oh, what's that? And she looks and she plays with it. Sometimes it's like two seconds and then I have to redirect again, but it is what it is. So this is one of the toys. I recommend this one. This one was a PetSmart buy when we did the other items that we got from PetSmart. I got this one because I was like, oh, she needs some more toys. It does squeak. So... <laughs> It could be a little annoying, but she honestly doesn't realize that it squeaks for the most part um, unless you really like squeeze it or unless she's really, really chewing. You won't you won't even hear the squeak. But I do use this a lot outside as well because then it's not bothering me on the inside of the house. <laughs> um, sorry, neighbors. Uh, so this is a Kong uh, toy. So this one is pretty popular um, for a lot of dogs, but sometimes a lot of the Doberman bloggers and community that I follow, they recommend one of these toys as well as one of the ones that's pretty good. Um, I mean, this rubber is so hard, like I, it's like thick. I don't know if you can see that, like it's thick. Um, but the cool part about these are you can put um, peanut butter or any little treat inside. Um, it kind of gets their brain going. As I mentioned, they're highly intelligent um, dogs. They're one of the top most intelligent dogs. I think they're number five. Um, but it kind of gets them working and playing. I have not put anything on the inside of here quite yet. Um, number one, I'm trying to get her used to being in our home. Um, number two, I just don't want to introduce her to a lot of different things right now. Like right now, we're focused on you eating your puppy food. And then we do have her uh, treats that we do use to train. Sit, she almost has. Um, and then also like come when I go through the door, um, she always has to go last, last to everybody. So a child, a family member, my husband, she goes last so i make her sit and then when i say come she comes in the door so she pretty much i mean in the only the little time she's been here has that concept down when she approaches the door she knows to slow on down she's not gonna go bustling through the door um she slows on down and she waits um but then sometimes she doesn't want to come in so that's that little bit of stubborn streak coming out in her well i won't even say stubborn we're gonna use good positive um words about the dog so that is just her assertiveness and knowing her own mind um but i'm her mama so she gotta know mama's mind mama wants to come inside you're done peeing and doing your business so you're coming inside but sometimes either one of these toys work to get her in the house um so these are the toys that i have she has a couple more so i'll show you guys those toys as well all right so these are her other toys. Um, these have actually come in handy pretty well. So this is a good travel toy that I have. Um, and I say travel only because she has three of these. So if I leave one here, one in the car, she doesn't miss it. She's not looking for it. Um, and this also does squeak a little bit if you really like squeak it. But another one of these good toys, um, this is a Kong toy as well. Um, so it really has that good rubber. Um, I mean, it's gonna take her a minute to destroy this. Um, and I don't even think, I, I really don't, I mean, unless she really gets some chompers, 
I don't think she could really disrupt this. Um, and it's big enough, so she's not swallowing it. Um, she does play with this one as well. So this is one of her crate toys too. Like sometimes if she's still kind of settling down, I do leave one toy in there for her to chew on so she's not chewing on her bed <laughs> or her or her um, crate mat, I should say, or her doors, you know, that weird, they chew on the doors, like they're trying to get out kind of vibe. So um, this is a good one for that. And then this is also another Kong toy. So this one would be great when she's bigger. So this is the one I was talking about when I said I just felt like it was a little too big for her. And honestly, maybe in the next couple of weeks, I'll let her try it and see how she does. But with these as well, you stick something in there, peanut butter or otherwise, and it keeps them uh, focused for a while. But I just thought this toy was so big. Like, what is she going to do with this? this? I will put a couple links in um, the description box so you guys can check them out for yourself. Let's talk about puppy on the go uh, essentials. So when we first got our puppy, we got one of these super durable, highly recommended rope leashes. Um, this one has like a big clip on it. Um, so we got one of these. Um, she actually has one in purple, looks just like this, um, but I'm just showing you guys the gray one. Um, but this has not been used because <laughs> Um, she is not used to a leash, obviously. Most dogs will not be. I mean, I can't imagine any dog with that would be, or puppy, that would be used to a leash, like, right out the gate. Um, so she thinks that this is a rope toy. Rope toys are, like, one of her favorite things um, to play with. So this has just been a bad idea to have this around her. So we have not used it. So our trainer recommended that we get her a thinner, smaller leash so she doesn't see it as much as a toy as like a, oh this is something weird hanging around my neck but I'll get used to it so with that said we ended up getting her a smaller leash so this is the one we use every day so this one is a, a skinny old tiny um, thin leash um, with the little clips um, and actually typically um, this was called top pod this was a, a, pe a pet smart purchase as well um, so with this one uh, we typically just let her also wear it in the house and drag it around. So she's kind of used to the feel of having it on. Um, of course, the trouble with that is she thinks it's a rope toys too. Um, but this one's a little bit smaller. So she kind of gets a little aggravated. We're like, oh, I don't wanna do this anymore. Um, but one of the tips I have for that, I will show you guys right now. So get a thinner leash to start. Um, she is gonna need a more durable leash as she gets bigger, um, but we'll just have these on reserve for when she's ready for that. So um, I'm gonna show you guys the tip that I have for her chewing on her leash. All right, so this is the item I was telling you guys about. Uh, it's called No Chew. Um, this is Nature's Miracle. So I use this as also the brand we use for uh, cleaning up any messes. So I'll show you guys that next. But um, this one, not gonna lie, I think I need to get a different brand. Um, she doesn't like it, but she, after a while, will go back to it. Now, definitely the instructions do say you have to make sure um, that they taste it. So I definitely do like saturate um, her leash with it when we're about to go out. So I don't, you know, I mean, you can't just spray it that one time and then hope they don't. Um, but it hope, it's supposed to, uh, when they taste it, like make them not wanna bite it anymore. So I don't know if it's because her, her rope is cloth or because this bitter taste is not enough for her. Maybe she just needs a little bit more shock, <laughs> a little bit more sour. Um, to it. So I've heard great things about the Bitter Yuck brand. Nothing against this one. It's just that I don't know if she, um, if it's working for her, but we'll see. I'll use it a little bit more. I haven't used it um, a lot. I've used it a couple times. So as the week goes on, I'll see if I utilize it more, if she is deterred from chewing on her um, leash, that might help a little bit. But ultimately, um, this was a, a good buy in theory. I'm just got to find the right one for her. So this is the Nature's Miracle Hardwood Cleaner. Um, so for this one, it's dual action stain and odor remover. Um, it seeps into deep set in stains on wood, linoleum, vinyl, concrete, and ceramic tile. Um, it's ideal for removing urine, um, grease, oil, fats, and organic substrates. Substrates. Um, and it's safe for pets and home. So this one's good. Like I said, it, it when I clean it, it protects um, the, the finish on the floor, but also it's a good product. So this one, you just um, wipe up the mess, then apply, then wipe, and then repeat um, for making sure you get everything up. So if she does pee, we clean the stain first, then we, or clean the spot first, um, then we apply this, and then we wipe, and then we just apply a little bit more, and then wipe again, um, just to make sure it destroys any odors. Like I said, prayerfully it has only been like maybe twice that she's had an accident but still think this is a good product you need something if not this you need something that does 
um, remove the enzymes and all of that because that's really what traps the odor, makes them want to go back to it, all of that. So that is a must, must, must. You cannot go home with the puppy expecting them never to make an accident in your house. And then you're like, oh, I don't have anything to clean it with. Like, get that in advance. Like, whatever that's going to be for your home, do it before you bring the puppy home. So let's get into some travel things. So we um, visit my parents in quarantine quite a bit. They don't live far, but uh, we do get in the car from time to time. So since her first car ride, she's been so good. Um, I think she just loves the car, but it may be she's just still a puppy. Um, but I, I have a good feeling that she loves the car. Um, so we got a couple items because I knew that I would want to take her with me um, to my parents' house or if we go to the park or if we, you know, do something and she has to get in the car with me and Carrie's not there or, you know, even if Carrie is there, it's just best to, um, it's best to, you know, have your dog on a leash it's slash doggy seatbelt. So, um, I don't know. So I don't know, um, where I found out about these or how I knew, but doggy seatbelt, like essential, like, did y'all know these existed? Um, I, I don't, like I said, I don't know how I knew, but I did. Um, so you basically put your dog on the leash, like clip them, and then you buckle this into your seatbelt. So these are standard compatible. Um, my husband has an old school car, so they don't work in there. I mean, but that car is like a 1980 something. So, um, and we do ride in that one quite a bit. So in that one, I just use a regular leash, but this one um, works so great. Like, I mean, she can explore just a little bit. Um, it doesn't choke them because it has the uh, elastic band. It kind of lets them know before they've gone too far. Um, you can adjust it as she gets older. We may give her some more slack to, you know, stick that little head out the window or whatever that looks like. So you can adjust um, it for shorter or uh, smaller length, but love this. Um, we got this in a set with our car cover. So the car cover is basically um, in my vehicle. I'll show you guys a clip here. All right, peeps. So this is her car cover. Um, currently it is not fully zipped, but this is what it looks like. So the one over here is actually one that you can unzip and separate it from the rest of the bench seat and um, put in the front seat. So when I have her in the front seat with me and it's just myself, I put her there. But when she's in the back seat, I put her um, the full cover just in case she kind of moves around. You can zip this whole entire piece. You also can zip the bottom portion of this and connect it to the back here. And it has like a mesh um, see-through portion in case she wants to see. So this actually can be one whole piece. But say you have a guest coming to sit in the car as well with her. So usually that's my sister. It can separate so their legs aren't blocked. Um, but typically you can zip the whole thing so the whole thing is covered. Um, and then also it has this really cute pocket, which I love. Um, so you can put some of your items because, of course, one of your pockets is blocked by the cover. So, yeah, that is the cover. So highly recommend it. Love it. Um, it's easy to fold, take away, unzip, zip back. Um, whatever works and then it also has the slits for your normal seat belt so that's pretty cool as well but yeah it's it's a great buy love it um you actually can also pull it up to block the window so there's a panel on the side which um i don't know if i can show you guys let's see okay i think i got it. so there's a panel on this side so these two clips can actually go up and you secure them to the um, handle up here. So that's pretty great as well. But yeah, this is her car cover. Go check it out. Now that you've seen the clip of our car cover, uh, I love it. Um, I'm pretty sure I already described how it works, um, but that was one of my favorite purchases that I got. And I would highly recommend it for the day you bring your puppy home. 